Morgana 3. The ultimate perfect synergy, Dragon Lord, Sage, Arcanist, whatever, Diana Flex board with a Lune 3 with TG. Let's see it. What does the Morgana 3 do? It's LDP as well. 2600 magic damage and chills. Yeah, beautiful synergies. This is awesome. The incredibly unkillable Diana. I think she's died one time this game. She's just that overpowered. That insane, especially with LDP. My god. That was beautiful. That was awesome. What a build. Okay, yeah, this Diana unit is not normally. I'm hoping she gets nerfed. I fear that a lot of people are going to force Diana in ranked if she's like this. Anvil Buffet Prismatic Prelude. Wait, actually, I'm kind of down for larger legends for a really specific reason. If the game goes on longer, it's more chance for a tuber to happen. Hey, it's me, baby. It's time to farm tubers with the extra 15 HP. Hello, Crunchy Taco. Hello, Airbees. Welcome. Yes. Never a dull moment. I love Stay down. Yes. <laughs> Watch this. Guys, I'm the world's most flexible player. I take branching out, and I'm going to play whatever I get. Okay. Guys, I have two snipers. What do you say I play a clean game of snipers and whatever trait happens to be the best for them? Maybe like Wardens. Actually, isn't this better? Oh. This person's missing HP. I think it's so funny that Nico spins her tail and like, it's like Yoshi Mitsu from Tekken. And she like flies up into the air. All right, whatever I get, I'm gonna play around it. what I get, what I get? Fortune? Wait, I, I can't play Fortune. I actually can't play Fortune. Like, it's, it's just such a weak trait right now. Give me something else. Can't remember Fortune's components. Uh, Cause they make some pretty good items. Invoker? Do you think I win this? Stand back! Big strong Nico coming through! Okay, Invoker, I'm down. Let's give a... Let's try max Invokers. So, let's see what you can craft here. So, every single Invoker. Kog'Maw... Oh. Kog'Maw, Malphite... Oh, no, no, sorry. Malphite's just because he has this... He has a spat. Uh, Janna... Aluni... Lilia, and who else? Annie, and then Azir. Okay, I'm just gonna slam this spark. We know we're playing AP. Okay. I am down. Six invokers, let's see what we can do. What can we cook up? So what does six invokers give you? It gives you 45 mana and 20 to others. Okay, so your main carry should definitely be an invoker. I guess it's Lilia. Lilia's kind of a weak unit though. That might be all right. Uh, I feel like Morello's is good here. So then you throw in one mythic unit 
I guess the one mythic unit can just be like Nautilus for some time. Yeah, I'll tank items on Annie and then I'll damage items on Lilia. I feel like it's pretty good. Um, I have a two-star Aatrox if I want it. Is that better than just playing Arcanist? Okay, I'm just gonna take this. I'm pretty sure it's better. Okay, so then I don't need to slam the Morellos. Wait, how are you supposed to pronounce this girl's name? Aluni? Alun? Alune? I wanna see everything! I wanna see everything! I wanna see everything! Our wills align. Oh, it's pronounced aluminum. Okay, got it. What set are you currently playing? Uh, great question. We're on the test realm. So we're actually playing, we're not playing set 10. We are playing set 11. Wait. Wait, random.org is so smart. Oh yeah, I should have kept that Kench because I'm playing a two star uh, Aatrox. These are all pretty good units. Oh, a loony. This is my choice. Hey, I just got zero items. What happened? Oh yeah, I should probably put this invoker spat on somebody else soon. Well right now it doesn't matter, it's five to all allies. Okay, a literal psychopath would go level seven. Are you guys down to be a literal psychopath and go seven next round? Okay, go seven, roll once, get a Huey, the game's over. 1% chance of a legendary, and then a one in 12 chance of it being... Wait, no, it's it's, it's one in eight chance, I think. Yeah, one in eight chance of it being a Huey. Good morning, Mr. Box. Do you know if there's any info reverting the bag sizes to pre-headliner times? I really think they should do that, and they are, they don't plan to do it. I think they like the current bag size, which is strange. I would be curious to hear their reasonings for why. Because in my opinion, low bag size means that if you're contested, go f*** yourself. You know what I mean? Okay, I kind of like Karma Assist here. I don't think it's cybernetic uplink. Most of my items will be on like one unit. I don't think it's staying united because I'm maybe going for uh, a high a vertical. Your All right, level up to seven. Our wills. Roll alive. one time. Boop. As you wish. Yeah, this was uh. <laughs> This is a little bit of an underwhelming shop. I'm not gonna lie. But yeah, like, um, you could say like, oh, well, small bag size means scouting is more effective. But like, have you ever been like, oh, hey, the game gave me four ribbons. Like, it, it's definitely a ribbon game. And then someone else just like randomly intersects you for like, then you, you're just because of the small bag size. And then like, I feel like the gameplay of like, oh, I'm not pivoting. Well, okay, I'm not pivoting either. Yeah, I think that gameplay is like really toxic. Wait. I never. Leave your journey. Invoker Lissandra to print components to hell and back. Wait. I'm. I think we're onto something. Early Lissandra. 
But yeah, like, obviously the back size shouldn't be infinite. Scouting should be a skillful trait, but like, the current the current bag size, you're basically f if uh, anybody decides to contest you for any reason. If you're rerolling at three costs and two people happen to play a build that is adjacent to it, you just like don't get to play the game already. And it feels really bad in my opinion. All right, I'm down for infinite component printing Lissandra. Let's get as much AP as we can on her. So I've got a rod. I'm down for a JG, down for a Rabadons. Down for an, well, Archangel's a bit risky. Maybe tank Lissandra. No. I think it's just Archangels. Okay, actually, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to make Archangels here. Eh, fuck it. Let's make an Archangels. I don't think it's that good here, but I do want to print components. Like, the way the game is right now, you are still very- uh, Sorry, the way the game was before, with 12 forecasts in the pool, you were still very discouraged from playing a build if somebody else was contesting. A lot of times, you wouldn't want to touch the unit if there was, uh, like, too many people going for it. Like, isn't the gameplay just, like, a lot more toxic when, uh, there's only 10 of each forecast? Because then it's like, if a unit's strong, everybody's just rolling it down at 7 to try to get it a 2-star of that unit before it's too late. In my opinion. Yeah, in my opinion, that's what's going to happen. The gameplay will get really toxic. If uh, if a four cost unit is broken, like let's say, let's say it's found out that Annie is the best unit in the game, and like a two star Annie like top fours you instantly, people will want her so bad that they'll just roll it down at seven and just like pray they win the Annie lottery because there's not enough to go around. People will roll at seven just to, like be first dips. That's what happened in set seven, where uh, there was dragons and hitting your two star dragon was the most important thing in the entire game. So people rolled at seven, even though you weren't likely to hit dragons, just because if you waited till eight, you would not be able to hit because all your units would be gone from the pool. And there was 12 back then. Lissandra became an invoker again. True, from set eight, good times. Oh, a rod. Anyway, if they have good reasons for not bringing the bag size back, I'm down. I'd just like to know what the reasons are. They haven't really communicated why they want to keep the bag size after removing headliner. What the? Sorry. I don't know why the game keeps giving me these, like, rectangles. It's like a Windows 11 bug. Alright, give me a good AP item for Lissandra. Or mana item. Because she doesn't have to get the kill. I wanna see everything. I'm Zoe. What's your name? Okay, what are my options here? Um, it's probably JG. Yeah, down for JG. And then down for redemption. Save these items for later. Hmm, maybe I should have leveled here. I'm on a big streak. Is set 11 looking good? I'd say so. It's pretty fun. There's a lot of fun units to look forward to. I think most of the Legendaries are very fun, and a good amount of the four costs are super exciting. And there's a few really satisfying one cost reroll builds. I like Kog'Maw, Caitlyn, one cost. They're not very good, but the units are fun to play. Wait. Whenever an Invoker casts, the lowest health ally. Oh, grant the lowest health ally a shield. Wait, I'm down. Legends are told in word and deed. The last time I ate a plant was never. I want to see everything. Wait. I Imagine never. a world. Yes. Oh. Try to keep up. Imagine a world where I get two star Lissandra here. But I definitely need to roll just like for a bit. This is my choice. When 
wouldn't wish my fate on anybody. Wait, I got Ash. Guys, <laughs> you know what I could play here? <laughs> if I play a Mumu, that's that's porcelain war. <laughs> and then I need just one more porcelain unit. No, I don't need it. Um, do I have any sages in this build? No. I do want six invoker though, so I'm missing a Lilia. Let's keep rolling. No prison can hold me. Your spirit is failed. Take it if you can. Um. Wait. How do I want to do this? How does this underprint items? She puts them in a teapot, and if they die well in the teapot, then they have a 50% chance of granting a loot orb, which has a 50% chance of being money or items. Well, actually, I don't actually know like the odds. I don't actually know the odds, but like you, 50% you chance to grant a loot orb, and then it might have an item. Uh, I like this Nautilus mythic. Oh. Nobody say anything. Nobody say anything. I don't need four Arcanists. Yeah, I don't need uh, four Arcanists. I'm a flexible man. Let me, let me think of how I want to do this. So... And then... Why is this Orn's unusually large? Oh! Oh, he's the raid boss! Oh shit, okay. I'm still missing a Lilia. I'm down to swap out two Arcanists for, uh, six Invoker. Wait, I'm like super down for this Invoker Lissandra. It's literally like a, a repeat of what happened uh, in set 8. The three cost Invoker Lissandra. Alright, let me roll like twice here and see if I can hit. I'm missing a Lilia. Stand back! Big strong Nico coming through! Travel awaits. Oh. We are made by our choices. Okay, wait, so how do, how do I do this? How do I do this? Anyone know? Um... I have six Invoker. I don't think Set is the correct unit. I think it's a uh, two-star Nautilus. No, 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 it's definitely just drop Nico. Oh, fuck, it's drop Nico for Alawi, but I, I just sold. Oh, fuck. Yeah, it was definitely Alawi over, uh, Alawi over Nico here. Wait, okay, I don't suppose there's any chance I could get three Alawis in my next shop. Right? No! No! Wait, come back, I'm sorry.
destiny calls for no one. Every flower blooms to be seen. Uh, I think I just want to be tanky. I could do like a Gwyn's Azir. But I feel like I'd rather just be very tanky. Which would look like, uh... It would look like this. And then we go 9 here. Okay. Oh, probably Lily over Kog'ma, huh? I can't believe I sold that Alawi, man. I needed her. Oh, item. Okay, this Lissandra, this early Lissandra is just infinite value. How many orbs have I printed this game? I actually the recipe for a tuber. What about Lilia over Janna and then Nautilus in? Oh, that actually sounds pretty good. I'm down. So Lilia over Janna, Nautilus in over Amumu, and then I guess whatever I want. You forgot to bow. Keep up. Friends with friends. Leave your journey or die in mine. Ah, classic early Huey. Let's do three star Annie. As you wish. We going for a three star Annie. Ash for Sniper Porcelain? No, don't do this to me. Don't make me think about her one more time. Wait, I just realized, Annie turns into Tibbers. She doesn't summon Tibbers. She becomes Tibbers. Oh, she hops on Tibbers. Oh, okay, I thought she transformed into Tibbers. All right, who's actually doing the damage here? Oh, Annie's doing the damage. She's doing everything. She's doing all the hard work. Jax offers you a weapon from different armories. Okay. Support or artifact? Uh, well, my carry's already at full items, so I'm down for support. Mm. My fights are pretty fast, so I don't think it's big gem. It's either Chalice or Locket. But... Alright, I'm pretty sure it's Locket just to stay alive so you can scale up. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't put anything... My bad. Oh. Wait, did somebody just donate? Oh. Alright, I didn't see it in time. What did that say? Did anyone see? Oh my god, I'm still alive. These invokers go crazy. A lot of them are one star. Dude, my Annie is actually carrying. She's not taking any damage at all. Oh, Televi, three or Sony. That's, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Thank you for the two dollars. No message. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to predict what you were trying to say. You were trying to say, hi. Oh, Mythic or Porcelain Spat are both good here. Yeah, Mythic or Porcelain Spat. Five Mythic would be pretty good. Okay, Porcelain. Okay, now I don't need a Mumu. Oh, Porcelain Lilia sounds pretty good. She's gonna she's gonna steam up. She's going to boil and get attack speed and take less damage. As you wish. The last time I ate a plant was never. Come on. Man, I need a two-star Lissandra for printing purposes. I have four mythic. Oh, that means I could play, um, I could drop Kog'Maw for Janna. I mean, I, at this point, Kog'Maw's probably better, huh?
Oh no, Jenna's probably still better. She provides shields. This is so satisfying. Six Invoker Lissandra. All right, three star Annie. Hogmaw's Invoker, you can't drop him. No, there, there's seven Invokers. So I, I actually can't drop him. Well, sorry. There's six Invokers and then there's a Spat. So you actually can drop one. What's up? Uh, leave it over there. I'll, I'll drink it after my stream. Look, Annie. Look at my build. You'll never guess what carry I'm playing this game. Oh yeah, actually. Look, I'm playing six invoker Giga Annie. Look, look at look at her in this fight. She will never die. It's Annie and her best friend Lissandra. So what she does is at the beginning she summons her Giga Mech robot, uh, Tibbers, and then she hops on and then just smacks everybody. Yeah, that's her. Look at how she doesn't take any damage. She's a beast. What does she do afterwards? She deals damage, burns, and wounds. Okay. Pain fades. Life fades. Oh, thanks. Alright, we go for three star Annie here. Okay, so I need to get two Annies before the next Huey print. Also, I'd like to get a two star Lissandra. Wait, I'm actually gonna become Mr. 115. I took the larger legends that I have more health to work with, and we ended up not needing it, because these invokers are just so strong. We hit the level seven Lissandra and the game was never close. But yeah, you don't even need anti-heal. Noted, if you ever play invokers, they have shred and burn. So you don't need uh like anything. You actually don't need anything. Every flower blooms to be seen. Surrender. My triumph is inevitable. As you wish. GG Lilia. Who has shred? A loony. 20% shred. I stunned the spark earlier without realizing, but it's probably fine. Okay, one star Lilia. These items actually look really nice on her. Porcelain, she's keep she's casting all the time thanks to Invoker. Oh, I almost lost. Oh shit. Alright, come on. I need to find one more Annie, but I also need to find a Lilia just so I don't lose. By your command. Art is empty without empathy. Oh god. Oh, he's about to print a three star Kench with seven mythic. That's kind of hot. I'm down to see it. And I also want to see the incredibly large child. Annie three with six invoker. Do you want to switch items to Azir from Lilia? Wait, you don't want to see a cute little uh, Lilia boil? I, you're definitely right, it's way better. <laughs> but I, 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 it's so cute. Little Porcelain Lilia. Tell you what, if Lilia doesn't show up in my next shop, I'll give up on her. I'll move on. Shall I prove them oh. right? <laughs> More rolls. Come on. No. Wait, actually, yes, yes. If I buy this, then I'm pretty sure... Yeah, if I buy this, then I, uh, I get the Annie one round sooner. Wait, I just realized. There's a chance I kill him. Oh no. Oh, okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, luck. Oh, on one hand, wait, he literally started with 56 health. On one hand, no! On the other hand, oh! Yeah, on one hand, I'm sad I didn't get Mr. 115. But on the other hand, I'm glad the game goes on long enough for us to see this. 
All right, get ready for the large child. Get him, Timmer. Don't make me hurt you. Be my canvas. Congratulations, Azir. No, Nautilus, you're a story weaver. All right, let's see it. We both powered up. Let's put it right here. Actually, fuck the, the tiles. Everybody back up. Let the child handle this. The world's largest child. All right, let's see it. So she mounts onto Tibbers and then boom, everything's dead. She's unkillable. Actually unkillable, she takes no damage. She's just walking over everyone. Wait, what happens if you leave this blank? I'm curious. Oh, nothing? Okay. Noted. That's actually interesting tech for later. Wow. Don't worry! We're watching you from over here! You'll be fine! Ooh, yeah, backline locket. <laughs> Wow. Oh, orbs, orbs. Holy, six invoker, three star Annie. That was beautiful. If only I, wo I won that one round, it'd be Mr. 115. That was cool. Three star Annie, six invokers. That's the power of getting a level seven Lissandra and printing so much money. She probably printed like 60 gold on her own and like eight item components. <laughs> 